Yeah, here we go. A little test here. See if we got things working. <laughs> Got the got it happening. I did move. I got a new new studio here that we're working out of, and uh, really digging it. Man, really digging it. Just the camera just a little bit. Bring it over. Yeah, just a little bit. I'm playing through the SL, and this is an this is one of my oldest sirs. I've had this one for a long time, and uh, I wanted to talk about like bends and and uh, no, it's no, it's old. This is old. This one's really really old. This is the second sir that I ever got. <laughs> No, this is the third one. talk about like bending and 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 like hand control having great bends really good vibrato at the top of the bends too of like having uh having recently got back from europe i was uh in in some really great great guitar shops man in in uh england and in italy there was some really awesome awesome guitar shops a lot of awesome guitars and it kind of spawned the conversation of of you know which why do you play what you like and i had a, a master class with luke lewis's crew in uh, England at the Guitar Vivo event. And it was awesome. Um, and, you know, I, I really ended up talking about a lot of foundation, fundamental, um, fundamental foundation building type of things. And really having good bends and good vibrato is such a part of that. Um, the last thing you don't want is, you know, is like... We're just like, it's really nothing. Like when you bend, it's, it's not a bend to anything, right? Uh, thanks for everyone for checking out the pedal show. It was super fun. Yeah. You need to use the fire fireside chat. That's what we're doing. Yeah, we got fireside chat. Um, uh, yeah, the, you know, new studio is great. I'm just checking out some chat stuff over here in the corner while I'm looking at it. Yeah, cheers, Argentina. Yeah, so so let's talk about bins and how to get how to get the most out of them. You know, to me, it's just like a part of like when you are looking for a melody line, incorporating that bend into it, right?
And really having control over what you want want to happen within those bends. And looking at each target note. Like a little sharp just there. I'm not used to this guitar. There we go. Using the fireplace, yeah. This fireplace is getting a lot of love. Talking about um, Kossoff and Peter Green vibrato, yeah. You know who really has been blowing me away lately? is a guy named uh, Simon McBride. He's playing with Deep Purple right now. And, man, he's got it. He's really got it. I love his playing so much, man. He's got great chops, great tone, touch. It's fantastic. Have you guys heard him? Heard him play yet? It's really great. up I'm kind of yanking it out of tune new strings new strings are the culprit yeah yeah Simon's awesome the amount of vibrato Stevie Ray used is staggering if you really listen to his playing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think I think it's underestimated how much vibrato he was using all the time. 
and it always sounded so great. Like Stevie's vibrato just had a thing that was really unique to him. And it's hard to emulate, you know, guys like Kenny Wayne Shepard, I think can, can do a nice Stevie Ray. I think, uh, uh, Josh Smith can do a pretty mean Stevie Ray vibrato, which is great. Yeah. Carson says the OG, sir. Yeah. This is a great one, man. It plays so fast. Is that the guitar used in the shred neck? Yeah, 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 it is. I think so. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, Philip Sace gets great tone on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Any Skankmare shows coming up? We just did one um, Saturday night, and it was awesome. Yeah, cheers, Fred. How are you? Yeah, this one sounds great. Travis McCartney is saying on pedal show, you mentioned that the next woodshed experience was already selling. Is that for patrons or returning guests? Because I don't see anywhere we can register yet. Chuck, would you mind to shoot the link in there? I think the, uh, I think it's, I think registration is still is available for public now. And I want to tell you who's going to be playing. Um, man, do I, I'm going to wait till Chuck chimes back in and I'm going to ask him if we, if we tell, Who's, who's their guest of honor for next year? Steve Newsom says, can I recommend any tube amp guys in the Knoxville area? Need one modded. Yeah, John Cooper could help you out if he's got time. He's a busy dude, but yeah, he would be the guy that I would ask. Um, in Nashville, the guys at Exact Tone, um, yeah, Exact Tone Solutions, XTS, they would be they would be up there. one of the things that i do when i'm talking about vibrato is like 
There's like the vibrato where you're turning your wrist like this thing, you know? There's the one where it's more up, upwards. Like this is a different kind of feeling in my hand. I'm playing through the SL, and it might be my favorite amp right now, the SL100. It sounds so good, man. That Jake Workman lick, if you guys follow me on uh, Instagram, it's a really great lick. It's really killer. Uh, how'd it go? Yeah, I think it was that. The lineup will be announced as we get confirmation. Uh, I think we go ahead and since you guys are tuned in here on, on this lovely Halloween, this will be my Halloween gift to you, my trick or treat Halloween gift to you. Um, our guest of honor for next year's Woodshed 2024 will be Steve Morse. And I'm really, really excited to say that. So, yeah. You've, you've heard it here first. I'll be putting the lineup together, uh, the remainder of the lineup. But yeah, the um, the guest of honor for next year will be none other than Steve Morrison. I'm really, really excited. So yeah, I hope you guys are excited about that. I mean, I'm really excited. Steve is a, he's a hero and just what a great guy to spend four days with and, and learn from and hear him talk about the dregs and, and Colonel Bruce and and all the things you know deep purple uh, i'm just excited man so if you guys are you guys want to catch that i'm really really hoping you do chuck's got the uh, link up there he says that the woodshed site is not updated for 24 but the link is available right so yeah and so he said what am i playing through it's my pedal board in front of the sl1 the sl68 yeah the 100 watt 
And Dusty says, yeah, the, the Woodbucker pickups are available for individual sale. Yeah, you can get them now. Album update from Mark Gamel. We have uh, handling the fulfillment. I've got Chuck the information here on the song titles. We have all the songs named. Um, and I'm hoping desperately that we can give you guys a date soon. It's like keeping me awake at night. Uh, so uh, Fender1960 says, what size pedal board do you use for the challenge combo of Gearbox, which a comp and Halo? Uh, man, it's the baby, the, the smallest pedal train. You can fit all three on the smallest pe pedal train. Um, Dusty says, did you run into Jonathan Cordy when you were across the pond? No, I did not. I just, I was, we were, schedules didn't line up, too busy. Uh, Tulio says, thanks, thank you for the chicken picking comment. I appreciate that. Um, 
Thank you so much, Tulio. Appreciate you. Uh, this is a, a question from Slim Finger. He's saying, do you have any suggestions on how to improve vibrato on a bent note? I've played for many years, but I still struggle with making this feel natural. Um, yeah, so like, it's the thing, right? Like guys can burn up and down the fretboard when they bend a string, it just never really sounds good. Um, and, and especially when they add vibrato at the top of the bend. Uh, so like, it's really twofold. I'm thinking about the first note, like let's say we're gonna bend to this E. I'm gonna work on bending it slow first. And like the it, like as the tension increases, you compensate in the finger. So the tension will increase as the string gets pulled farther up. Like it'll be heavier, you know, when you're pulling it. So the trick is not to do this. Like where the speed of the bend is uneven. You want to go. You want fast? So you have fast vibrato, vibrato at the top. We can have slow wide. is the that intro is a really good one to to work on for the uh for the uh the bin thing that's the still got the blues um you know So it's like as that thing walks backwards, you know. You want that that vibrato and that tone to kind of ring out. That's all coming from the hands. It's not really coming from like a pedal or something. I mean, like the sound of the guitar can be that singing sound or it can be... Like when you get to the top of that, that, that like bend, slowly let the string push itself back down for the vibrato. Slow. Fast. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's like it's. I'm trying to like think about it while I, while I do it, and it takes me out of like the actual action of of doing it, right? Uh, so like you can tell when someone starts thinking, it starts like not sounding right. Martin said, "We doing clinics in the U.S.? Yeah, absolutely. I'm for sure gonna be doing that." Michael says, "How do you practice arpeggios?" And to me, it's like find finding music that has arpeggios naturally in it, right? Um, like uh, the. Marriage of Figaro by Mozart. That, that kind of thing has those arpeggios in there. Uh, sorry. If I had the front wrap on, it'd be cleaner. Uh, yeah, put the fret wrap on for that, and you'll see how much difference that thing makes. Like, I don't, I'm not really against the fret wrap. I just don't use it a lot. But if I have to track some kind of crazy arpeggios like that, it makes all the difference in the world, right? Like, it makes it clean. Uh. See those? They're they're cool. They're cool. You don't have to use a lot of gain because that takes care of the muting, <laughs> you know. But as far as like anything to me, it's like practice what what uh, you'd want to play like that has a lot of arpeggios. Like what kind of arpeggio you're trying to do? You're trying to do like like those kind, or is it a kind where you're trying to? It just depends on what you're trying to get done. And to me, it's all about the music. Uh, that that's really is where it should go. Steve's got another great question. It says, what are your favorite target notes to bend to? Yeah, that's a great question. And and, and that comes into play with like, get the mic out of the way of the, of the guitar. That's like if I'm playing, I don't know, playing like in kind of D. I think bending from... That, that that three to four is really strong. So like if I've got if I'm seeing notes that resolve in certain directions, like it's like two wants to go to three. Uh, three to four. So basically, we've got the major scale. I would look at everything throughout it. Here's, you know, the two. The four chord. The five chord. To the six. And so, like, I would just try to practice every single note into the next one.
like that's kind of a, a you know nice way to do it you could do six to flat seven but that changes the tonality right so like that would be something i would use in a rock context <laughs> Is that six to five seven? That kind of thing is really sassy too. This kind of this kind of gain. Uh, Dustin says, "Are you bending with any finger? Or do you lean towards using particular fingers?" I like the I like the third finger a lot. I like the uh, the middle finger. You know. <laughs> Here's third finger. <laughs> First finger. <laughs> Really tough to do without a lot of gain. That's a tough one to get get out without a lot of distortion. But yeah, as far as fingers, it's kind of like all of them, you know. Uh, I also think that a little less gain makes things sound punchier. Like that's a, that's a nice set of bins too. so good i've loved his playing lately i've really enjoyed his playing so much yeah he's really killer um pookie's asking my signal chain right now is my pedal board 
which I use all the time. It's the one you guys have seen on the pedal show into the SL. Uh, the pedal show, the amp that I was using, the two rock was really bright. It was great, but I like a dark sound. Like my tone is really dark. I like a dark Marshall. So I can dig in. I don't really do a lot of economy picking. I, I'm, I'm pretty much alternate or hybrid. I don't really economy pick often at all. Yeah, the TPS tone was that two rock and it was so, so bright. <laughs> Yeah, I think Gearbox sounds good, man. It's real smooth. Maybe 
let's play a song. Why not? Let's just play a song. I don't know what I'm going to play. Truth and Lie? Why not? <laughs> solo section again for fun. I love that solo section. I like those chains. time on it, yeah. Set of changes to kind of noodle around over. Sorry. 
The tone's really good. Yeah, this SL's like really. It's got it, man. Knock it way out of tune. The new ropes are getting yanked around. There we go. Yeah, it's better. Um, Joe's saying regarding the dark tone, I recorded just a little bit brighter, but not much. I usually try to make sure that the drums are where I want them to be and put the tone to it from there. Yeah, this guitar hadn't been out in a while. Yeah, it's cool to have him out. Frank is saying Chuck, uh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Frank is saying Chuck, and he said 40 spots of the hunter already sold. Do I just reserve using a 23 link and hold for details? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're going to want to go ahead and do that. Um, go ahead and get signed up because it's it's going to fill up. Like, uh, again, for those that are just chiming in, I'm, I'm announcing that uh, Steve Morris will be our guest of honor next year. So, yeah. That thing, for sure. Yeah. to play them because when you take them out and you, and you don't play them for a while they 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 don't they they're not used to having the the tension thrown around on them like this one hasn't been played in a long time so that's why i was playing it today <laughs> do it for today i hope uh hope everyone has a great halloween here uh, a little bit of housekeeping make sure if you're interested in joining us for the woodshed next year uh to go to woodshed guitar experience.com chuck has it right over there in the uh, chat so you can check that out get signed up steve morse as well as people that i will be announcing very soon um thank you everyone for hanging out today thank you for checking out the pedal show i'm going to be doing some uh some album hype very soon uh so if you're interested in getting sneak peeks of the album and sneak listens listening parties all that kind of stuff go to patreon.com slash andy wood music and then in there make sure to have your notifications turned on because I'll be going live and playing some of the album for you guys. 
So that's going to be freaking fun to have listening parties with the record. We might even do that this week. Who knows? Who knows? But uh, yeah, thank you guys all for hanging out. I appreciate you all and hope everyone has a great Halloween here. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, handing out the candy, doing all the stuff. And yeah, this 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 old Sir is really great. I got to play it um, more often. Kind of tangled up in it. Oh, let's go. Uh, kind of tangled up in it. But yeah, I got to play this thing more often. It's a really cool guitar. And uh, yeah, it sounds good. And mahogany, it's kind of cool. Is the, is the cab mic or using the aux? I'm using the aux right now. Yeah, I'm using my pedal board into the, into the SL68. The amp is set clean. Um, yeah. The amp's set loud and clean. AT mod. And then the Pantheon. And the gearbox. For the full blown shred stuff. Yeah. 